understand is that when you give steroids and the hyperglycemia which is caused by steroids is can also be broken down into two situations in acute situation things are different and in chronic situation things are very very different right so what is the difference right so when you have for example the case which you saw right now just remove the fact that the patient was already on steroid let's say the patient had some reason where you required glucocorticoids right uh, the patient was having infection the patient was having other issues patient was already having diabetes right and beyond that you added steroid so typically you tend to produce an acute situation where steroids lead to uh, increase blood sugar suddenly but what happens when the steroid has been there for a long time and that is where in chronic use of steroids you start seeing the cushingoid changes you start seeing changes in the fat distribution you start seeing the uh, muscle uh, atrophy is being happening you start seeing the you know permanent changes which happen to uh, the beta cell secretion and so on right so these chronic changes uh, are typically with the steroid being used for a long time but it is also very important very very important and this is going to be something which i'm going to talk to you very frequently is that when you are giving steroids for a long period of time typically remember uh, i would say more than 3 months right uh, you start impacting the hp axis right so when the steroids have been given for a long time the hp axis endogenous hp axis starts getting uh, affected and hence a lot of these patients start developing morning hypoglycemia so they start developing morning hypoglycemia and this is something which is very very important for you to understand so the patient may be diabetic the patient may have post meal sugars which are very high but the fasting sugars tend to be low and hence you know you need to strategize this treatment so that you control this picture also into take this picture also into consideration and this is a very very important fundamental nuance point that you need to understand when you are dealing with steroid induced hypoglycemia